That is one of the enduring questions. And I think I have the answer. This is the New York Times of 1911. This is Titanic's maiden voyage. Notice the headline says, Olympic exceeds promise. So for you marketing majors out there, what do we call it when you exceed what you promise to the customer? There's a very specific phrase for that. Under promise and over deliver. Under promise and over deliver. There's something about human nature. You go out to a restaurant, you go on a trip or an airplane or a hotel, and they say, oh, sir or madam, we're going to give you an upgrade or a free bottle of wine or this or that. And what do you feel? You feel great, don't you? OK? Well, they recognize this. So here's the interesting thing. White Star Line ships arrived Tuesday evenings. Cunard Line ships, which are faster, arrived Tuesday mornings. So the key time was 5 p.m. Because if you arrived before 5 p.m., the equivalent of customs and immigration service, I don't know what it was called at the time, would allow passengers to disembark. If you got there after 5 p.m., while the line could say, well, we got there on Tuesday, you had to wait till the next morning. So you can see here is it's saying it will probably reach New York Harbor late tonight and come to repair Wednesday morning. So the captain of Titanic, or Olympic on her maiden voyage was Captain Smith. Okay, Olympic arrived in New York about 10 p.m. So here's what's interesting. This is a, a, just an animation I, or graphic I created from a guy who compared uh, where Olympic and Titanic were to each other on their respective maiden voyages. So Olympic was slight, I'm sorry, Titanic was slightly faster, so she was running two hours ahead of Olympic on her maiden voyage. Two hours ahead. So I believe this is the answer. This is the New York Times, April 15, 1912. Titanic has already sank at this point. And this is what's called the shipping and mails page. It has the tides and sunrise and sunset. And then here it talks about the ships that are due on Wednesday. And way down at the bottom, it says it's due Tuesday at 4 p.m. Tuesday at 4 p.m. Olympic's main voyage, she got there at 10 p.m. Titanic was running two hours ahead. 10 minus 2 is 8. Where do the four hours come from? Here's what I think. This is speculation. Do you think Cunard Line would be reading the newspaper this day to see how the maiden voyage of their new competitorship was? Do you think maybe Cunard Line was doing, I'm sorry, White Star Line was doing this to Cunard Line? Because this is physically impossible. It was physically impossible to get.